This week, we celebrate Richard Dawson's birthday, and I should know, I'm his son, Gary. My dad was born in a small town called Gosport, England, and joined the Merchant Navy at 14, where he started boxing. After the Navy, he took to the stage and soon was starring on the hit series Hogan's Heroes. After six seasons as a comedy POW, Dad joined the Match Game cast until he was offered a hosting gig on Mark Goodson's new show, Family Feud. My dad passed away in 2012, but he would have been so proud that Feud is still going strong. Happy birthday, Dad, from Buzzer and me. Do the talking. YouTube, bonjour. I'm speaking on uh, the new host of Wheel of Fortune premiering this Monday, September 9, wherever you're watching Wheel of Fortune in your time zone. If it's in the Eastern Standard Time, it's Eastern, it'll premiere uh, uh, this Monday at 7 military time, 1900 hours Eastern Standard Time. Wherever your time time zone is in Mountain Pacific and Central. <sighs> For Ryan Seacrest, who's best known to host American Idol since 2002, going on almost 22 years, he hosted a game show back in the early 1990s. I mean, uh, late 1990s. I don't know if you don't remember, but do you remember the show called Gladiators 2000? It was a kid's version of American Gladiators. Now it's happened. It was a, it lasted for a half hour, but it was more like a physical competition of global, I mean Nickelodeon Guts. It was right before Nickelodeon Guts. Maybe during, I don't know. But you also have to YouTube. I will show a link about this. But as a fellow game show fanatic, all the legends of, Will of, uh, of the game shows, they're in heaven now. Alex Trebek, Richard Dawson, Bob Barker, Robert Bob Barker, Robert Barker, aka Bob, Peter Marshall recently passed away, Betty White herself, Alan Thicke, the father of Robin Thicke, Les McAdeel himself, Monty Hall, Tom Kennedy, for those of you who don't remember body language, I do. And of course, Ray Combs, a host of Family Feud, and Louis Anderson, who passed away two years ago. Comedian, and I remember growing up watching Life with Louis that came on Saturday mornings on Fox Kids. But Wheel of Fortune, I grew up watching it when I was younger. Well, I was, I was, I'm still, I mean, I still like the show. I just stopped watching it when they got rid of, one, the five-day champion rule, which you can win five days straight, and after that, you keep all your winnings. Two, the theme from 1989, which is the best one of all of them. I'm sorry, but Merv Griffin composed a good damn Will of Fortune theme from 1989, and it was back a little bit doing some episodes during 1992 to 1993, even the Music Week, which I have, and three, the Jetpot Round, which, you know, if you land on the Jetpot Square and you know the puzzle, you get all the money that's in the Jetpot, but if you get it wrong, 
you lose the money or get bankrupt. Oh, and um, at the end of this video, you'll see the new set of Season 42 of Wheel of Fortune. They changed it again. And I remember the original, I remember the, the classic set when it had the colors of the, uh, the contestants in the background. The red and the red, there was red here, yellow here, blue here. Primary colors. And it used to show the amount and the scoreboard in the back of the, of the, of the contestant's head on, on back in the day, in the, in the late 1980s, early 1990s. But they don't do that no more. Now, it's just pretty much right on the colors where the wheel is, where the wheel is at. And they don't even spin the wheel in the beginning of the show back in the day. When it showed the, you know, the name Wheel of Fortune, it will have the wheel spinning a lot at the end of the show, beginning to, in the beginning of the show, and they don't do that no, no more. I mean, I wish they could do that, but I wonder why they don't do that no more. And may you rest in peace, Merv Griffin. You're the, come, the creator of Wheel of Fortune, including Jeopardy. We'll just have to see how it goes. And for Pat Sajak, did a, the host this show for a long time. I hope you enjoy your retirement. Why you couldn't got your children to host the show, man? You couldn't got your son or daughter. I mean, I know Vanna White is gonna be retiring soon. But I mean, some things gotta be monetized. Just like will, just like the prices. I mean, I'm, well, I'm just gonna stick with the Wheel of Fortune. Ryan Seacrest. Good luck to you. Congratulations on becoming a new host of Wheel of Fortune. But we'll just have to wait and see. And you'll see the interview of how he reacts to it and photos of the new set during this whole video. And season 42 of Wheel of Fortune premieres this Monday. Check your local listings for where it's coming on in your time zone. But again, as a fellow game show fan himself, Ryan Seacrest, good luck to you. Thank you for watching. And in the words of the late Richard Dawson, we'll see you here on the Family Feud. Or for my best friends, Mr. Jano. Thanks for watching, and that's my final answer. Will you take me home, please, Mr. Ludden? Good night. Hey. Seacrest is already known as one of the busiest people in television.
So what would tempt him to add yet another to all those plates he's spinning? He solves that puzzle with an assist from our Luke Burbank. Just a heads up, America. When you turn on your TV this week, something is going to be different. I can't wait to get to work. Um, let's get you ready. Yes, after 40 plus years, Wheel of Fortune has a new host. Regular devices, trying to the first toss up, who is himself Ooh. sort of an institution in America. He's the guy who seems to host everything these days, Ryan Seacrest. Can you please list the jobs that you currently have? Let's start with the beginning of the year. New Year's Eve, the ball drops, that starts the year. It is 12 degrees, and it feels like zero. American Top 40. This was new on the chart at 32. On Air France Seacrest in the mornings on Kiss FM. 739 in the morning. And then syndicated across the country. American Idol and Wheel of Fortune. And then some specials here and there. Wheel of Fortune, distributed by CBS, is the latest and possibly the most high-profile job for Seacrest, who grew up in tiny Dunwoody, Georgia, where, even as a kid, he kept very busy. Believe it or not, I played high school football. What position? I played strong safety. I was stronger, but not that strong. I didn't play a lot, but I practiced a lot. I practiced so much, but played less in the games. But high school football in Georgia is no joke. You know, it's, 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 that's my excuse. But of course, you can't get much further from Hollywood than Dunwoody, Georgia. Something that was not lost on Seacrest. Always wanted to do this. Always dreamt of being on the air. I would listen to Casey Kasem. Hello again, and welcome to American Top 40. My name's Casey Kasem. I'm on the lawn on my Walkman, you know, headphones, and um, I would picture what it would be like to be in Hollywood. How did you make your way to Los Angeles? In my Honda, Raymond. Really? Uh, yeah. I packed my things in my Honda from Atlanta and I came out to LA. I had uh, one contact at a radio station at the time called Star 98.7, which was loosely affiliated with the station I worked at in Atlanta. I met the program director eventually. I remember coming home to my apartment in Burbank every day, playing my answer machine, like hitting the microtape, waiting for his voice. Eventually, the call did come, leading to radio success, and then the show that changed his life. American Idol. We're down to two. Clay Aiken and Ruben Stutter. Head to head. Their showdown tonight on American Idol. I know the DNA of that show. I mean, that's the house where I go into and say, oh, we built that bathroom. I know that door's squeaky, and we need to, you know, if you want to use, go over here for the, the spoons and the silverware, like, you can sort of know that world really well. So now, America, it's all up to you. Everything that I do has, has, a, has somebody that's a bigger star or a supporting group. And it's not about me, it's about the testing, it's about a story, it's about something else for someone else. And I think that does make me feel a little more comfortable. I think the Wheel of Final Spare. Meanwhile, Wheel of Fortune, that's a house constructed by its creator, Merv Griffin, and meticulously maintained by host Pat Sajak for over four decades. Yes! Whoa! And now Seacrest has to figure out the floor plan, including the rules of the game, which actually took a lot of practice, he says. Uh, wherever I was working, uh, the producers sometimes would come and they bring contestants and we would play Wheel of Fortune in hotels just to get familiar with the rules and scenarios and things that can happen so that at some point it becomes second nature. In the early tapings we watched, Seacrest seemed comfortable in the role of host and co-collaborator with the TV royalty that is Anna White. I've known Ryan for probably 20 years, but um, in the past couple of months we've done some traveling together for the show, and we got to know each other a little better too, so I think our chemistry is good. What do you think? I mean, it looked like you've been doing this forever together, so were you nervous about that, that element, the chemistry? There's no accounting for that, right? That's so true. I had no idea what to expect. I mean, when I'm used to one person for so long, I was very scared, but it, he's, he's doing a great job. This is such an incredible special franchise. It's more than a TV show. It is something that means something to people. And when I found out that this was an opportunity for me, I, there was no thought to this. It was like, absolutely, let's figure it out and let's get started. Of course, figuring it out meant 
fitting it into his famously packed schedule, which occasionally does include some downtime for recharging. And for Seacrest, that's always happened at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, where these days he's on the board of trustees. Well, why is that something that <laughs> you want to take up even more of your time with? It's, it's, not, it's not a job. It's, uh, it's a, a way to escape it, you know? It's like you walk through this museum and you forget about all the things that are wrong in the world. You have a chance to look at the different works that are on display here. Like, does this feel like a long way from Georgia? It, it does. And interestingly, this is right across the street from the E Entertainment Building that used to be. It's now over Universal. But when I was working at E, I was on the radio in the morning. I was doing E News. I was hosting live for a carpet. And nominated for Best Original, Lady Gaga. And I would walk across the street and get to Lacrimon. Mm -hmm. Just take a deep breath and walk around. I always came back reinvigorated. It was there for me, so I'm trying to be here for it. You both make it look so easy. Well, you're never going to find a better job, and you're never going to find a better co-host. Aw, oh, thanks, Pat. Do you what feel you? like you now what have you? reached peak Ryan Seacrest and do not need to take on any more jobs? I don't know if I've reached peak me, but I feel like I've reached, for the moment, um, fully occupied me. Uh, I don't think I should take on another job right now. I want to get, I want this one to go so well. I want all of them to go well, but this one's new. And I want this one to be something that people go, okay, you know what? I get it. That makes sense. That's what Mark said to me. He goes, the beauty of Wheel of Fortune is the kind of show you can sit in front of TV or have on in the background and play along or yell at a contestant if they're not getting it. You've got it before them. I mean, that's what the show is. <laughs> Red time.